Hello Internet, uh, my name is Rob and I'm going to be doing a demonstration game today of Age of Empires 2 HD Edition The Forgotten Empires. Uh, that's, that's a mouthful I know. Uh, but it's your, it's a real-time strategy game. Uh, if you want to show someone, uh, you know, what a strategy, real-time strategy game looks like, you can show them this. If you want to show them what Age of Empires 2 looks like, you can show them this. You know, whatever. Um, this is, uh, gonna try to go through the fundamentals. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I tried this earlier, and my computer opponent forfeit before I got through every single thing I wanted to get through, which is a lot. I mean, that's, it's a lot of material, so, um. But nonetheless, excuse me, but nonetheless, uh, I'm going to try to get through it plenty uh, in the time allotted, which is going to be about half an hour. Uh, you know, you can tell that from looking at the video, you know, duh. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Uh, it's going to make a big noise, so just brace yourself. It's going to make a noise because I picked the Celts, because, you know, I did. So here we go. And yes, it's pronounced Celts. It's not pronounced Celts. It's pronounced Celts in this context. So, here we go. Uh, first things first, uh, this is a map type called Black Forest. Uh, maps in this game are randomly generated. Uh, this means that, this, that there's some land and there's a lot of trees. There's some open space, I should say. There's a lot of trees. For example, this entire, apparently this entire third of the map is all trees. Wow. Anyway. Uh, this is, uh, this is your town center. It's rather appropriately named because it's the center of your town. Oh my gosh. Uh, town center, uh, uh, receives resources for you. Uh, all resources. And it also, uh, makes your villagers. And, and does other stuff, which I'll explain later. Uh, these are your villagers. Yeah. You start with three villagers. Uh, they are male and, or female. Uh, you also start with a scout cavalry, which is a dude on a horse. And he uh, lets you explore the map. Right? You can tell him to run around the map and go do some exploring. Uh, so I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to hit F10, go to options, and go to fast. This means that the game will move faster. Because, you know, Kia? Yeah. Fast move the game. Fast. Anyway. So you can you know, explore the map. The map is kind of already explored, as you can see, because I can see the whole map. But For it normally wouldn't be the case. So... I'm going to make some villagers here. They cost three food. They cost 50 food apiece. Uh, I had 200 food. Now I have zero because I made love. these villagers. While they're being made, I'm going to build some houses. Uh, villagers have two purposes, and this is the first one. This is one of the purposes. They build buildings for you. So I'm having them build this house. Once it's done, I can make more units. How that works is that I have uh, up here, you have, it says 5 slash 10. What that means is that I have five units. Okay, I have these four villagers and my one scout cavalry. All right. However, I have ten. I have ten um, housing. Uh, my town center provides me five, and each house provides me five more. This means that I can have up to ten units. This house is going to finish, and then I'll have, up, and I'll be able to, to command up to fifteen units. Now it says five out of fifteen. This villager is finished now. I have six out of fifteen because the villagers done it. Boonage. Uh, need some wood. Boonage. Tell these villagers, hey man, chop that tree down. Give me some wood. So okay. now their names actually change. Whenever you give a villager a new task, their name changes. Okay. See, this villager is a villager because he he just he's just been made. Now it's going to become a shepherd. Here they go. Because I'm going to tell him to kill that sheep and Here they go. to gather food from the sheep. You can also set a rally point so that whenever I finish a unit, it'll go to that spot. And the villagers, if you put a rally point on a resource, they will come out of the town center and start gathering that resource. It's pretty nifty. Here they go. Now, I do need wood right now, but I need food more than I need wood. So I want more villagers gathered. Here they go. So I can just have this one guy on wood. I'm fine. That's fine. Okay, so my loom research is complete. Loom is a research you can do at your town center, make your villagers harder Kid. to kill, increases their life or their health, whatever you want to call it, their hit points. It also gives them a little bit of armor. Armor reduces damage. It doesn't it doesn't count as more health, it just reduces incoming damage. So it has a similar effect. So they finish that sheep, so they're gonna kill more sheep and all that. Uh, let's see if I can find some more sheep. Might be some around. Those are deer. Ah, sheep! 
Now these flags, I hold down shift and I right and I right click here, right? And then I right click without shift. And so he will run to each of where the flags were. So he'll run there, then he runs over here, and then I run back. Amazing. Okay. Just one of many command features in Age of Empires. Awesome. So, let's have some music because music is nice. No? No music? There we go. Alright, music in this game isn't that bad, so. Air love. It's not, but it's not, you know. Air love. It's not Enya, you know. It's, it's someone energizing music. It's not completely boring or whatever. So I love Enya. I'm just, you don't want to play a game while listening to Enya. You want to sleep while you listen to Enya. So anyway, love Enya. Um, I, I guess. Um, uh, one of the best kinds of music to listen to while playing the real-time strategy game is uh, techno, uh, or even maybe, maybe even these days dubstep. Because it's, because it's so ener energized, there's so much energy. In music. Um, but I digress. Anyway, um, so look at this. I have 187 food. That means a second ago I had 387 food. Uh, something that's weird about having Kid. resources in real-time strategy games, which goes against a person's understanding of having resources, i.e. money, is that oh. having resources, having large amounts of resources, is bad. You do not want to have large amounts of resources. You want to have lots of income, but you don't want to have lots of, of savings, because resources that are in your stockpile are not helping you. They are not, you know, wood in your stockpile is not a building. Uh, food in your stockpile is not villagers. Gold in your stockpile is not soldiers. Uh, stone in your stockpile are not towers or walls or castles. You need to have, you need to spend the resources you have because they're not helping you when they're sitting in your stockpile. Unless, of course, you're saving up to something that's actually kind of expensive. But the most expensive thing in the game costs a thousand of some, uh, costs a thousand, it costs a thousand of whatever. So, anyway, uh, gather more food, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, you, at this point in the game, uh, early in the game, you always want to be making villagers. You, town center, unless, unless it has to do something else in the world. Uh, you need to be making villagers. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a, mine, uh, excuse me, a lumber camp. A lumber camp, there we go. Now, this is a mill. I made this early, I, I didn't tell you what it is. Oops, sorry. Uh, this is a mill. Uh, it's a building that, receive, that can receive food. Okay, it receives food, just like the town center. It just doesn't receive anything else. So a lumberjack can't return uh, wood to a mill. He has to return wood to a town center. Or a lumber camp. Cool. So that's what these guys are going to do. This music might actually get annoyed, so I'm going to turn it off. So. Gathering some wood, gathering some food. Alrighty. So. I'm going to cancel this villager. I'm going to advance toward the feudal age. You see, in order to advance to the next age, you need to have two buildings from the current age. Uh, some buildings don't count like houses. Uh, but a mill counts and a lumber camp counts. So, I have two dark age buildings. I'm in the dark age right now, and I'm upgrading to the feudal age. Up here, you can see the progress bar towards the feudal age. Right. So, I'm upgrading to the feudal age. Once it's done, my buildings will all look different, and I can do some cool new upgrades. Now, cool. while that's being done, I'm going to build a barracks, because I want a barracks. A cool sound when you select it. Now, barracks is your basic military production building. It makes what are called infantry, which are uh, melee units on foot. Infantry coming from the word infant, which implies, which was based off cool. the idea that an infantry was a soldier that was inexperienced Bye enough, good. not grown up enough cool. to be an archer cool. or ride on horseback. Infantry. Anyway, I know what So, I'm going to make two militia. Because they cost 60 food and 20 gold, and I only have 50 gold, now I have 10. So, I don't have that much gold. Ugh. Cool. Now I'm in the feudal age. That means that all my buildings look different, and I can upgrade stuff, and that's that's always awesome. So, uh, I, th I'm i going to research wool barrel, cost 175 food and 50 wood. I have those resources, so I'm going to do that. Uh, means that my villagers will move faster, they will run faster. And they will gather, uh, they will be able to hold more resources oh, when they finish gathering resources. Forgera. This guy is 10, so he's going back to the uh, lumber camp. He's going to turn around and start gathering resources. Oh, she's coming up to 10. Now she's at 10, she's going to go back to the lumber camp. 
Now, when this is done, they'll be able to hold 13 resources, which is cool. That's okay. Now, I want some more gold, so I'm going to put her on gold. This is almost done. When that's done, I'm going to make some more villagers and put them on wood, because I need more wood. So that's done. Hmm, I'm all out of bushes to harvest. What will I do now? I need to have, I need to have a food income. I can't just have no food income. But here are two boars down there, so I'm going to have my villager and woman shoot a boar. She's going to become a hunter. Uh, tell these guys to shoot the boar too. Shoot that boar. See, the boar will attack your guys. And so you need to tell your boar, you, need to, you need to attack the boar with the groups, otherwise they will kill your guys. Need more houses, because I'm at the population cap for the moment. I have 20, I have 20 guys, I have... Tw I have Three houses up south center, so I'm building more houses. When he finishes this house, he's gonna go on to the next one. That's what builders do. They that's what villagers do. When they complete a task of their of when they complete a task, then they go on to the next task of the same variety. So builders will build more buildings. Gold miners will mine more gold. Lumberjacks will chop down more trees. That's what they do. Cool. Now I'm really cool. seriously out of, out, cool. of, uh, out of food, so Boonage. unfortunately I can't make it for our villagers right now. Oh wait, I just got a huge gold, I just got a huge food, I'm sorry, income because my villagers just Air finished love. off that, uh, that boar. So you could go down here with a healthy villager and shoot this boar. Shoot it! Shoot it! Cool. Yeah! Must have the machine gun. Cool. Cool. By the way, later on in the game you can make military units. Um, I want to let you know before you get any funny ideas that military units that oh, kill oh. wild animals, you can't harvest them for food. You have to kill them with villagers. Just want to put that out there. Kid? Uh, you know, this, this Kid. boar is worth 40 food, which is about, which is just under 7 villagers worth of food. You know, you need those villagers, you need to use villagers to get those villagers. So, it's a good thing you start with some, right? Anyway. So, chopping down trees. I have 600 wood. I have nothing to do with that much wood. I can't expand that much wood. So I'm going to take some villagers off of wood, and instead I'm going to have them build farms. Farms are strange because they are a resource. They, they are a source of food that you can actually construct. Uh, however, in order to get, in order to make a farm, you need to have wood. Uh, each farm costs 60 wood, but at this stage of the game, provides you with 175 food. Uh, you can upgrade that, which I should have done. Uh, but anyway, now I'm doing it. Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan. And you might notice in building my farm, as close to my building as I possibly can, this, a lot, this makes it so that my villagers travel the shortest distance to return their resources. You always want to do that. Always, always, always. For example, yeah. I could have built my mining camp here so that. Uh, villagers could get gold from here and from here, but I'd rather spend the 100 extra wood and build a second one over here, because wood is very is a very 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 accessible resource, and gold is very much not. Uh, gold is what holds you back. Gold is what makes it so you don't build 20,000 troops. So you need to make sure that you have your your gold income Boonip. at least later in the game is healthy. Uh, and if you have to sacrifice a little bit of wood to do that, then do it. <laughs> you need to do it. So. So I'm going to do some research. I do need to build more houses, though. Oh. So I'm going to build a butt ton of houses. Build that house. Build it! Alright. So, mining camp. going to research gold mining, which means that my gold miners will mine faster. I know that's, like, shocking, that definition. Just didn't see it coming. Do you want to talk about it? Anyway. Sure. So, um, I'm also sure. going to go down here. I'm going to build what's called a gate. Guess what it does? Now, a gate is made out of stone. You need to have stone to make it. You also need to be in the feudal age. You can't make it when you're in the dark age. The gate, uh, what what it does, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It, it's a gate. You know, uh, it's a wall that your units can pass through. Uh, just keep in mind that the gate is dumb. The game, the gate is only as smart as you are. Something you could do with a the gate, therefore, is that you can lock it. This will make it so that your units cool. cannot walk through it, that nobody can walk cool. through it unless it's destroyed. That way your units won't walk through it and then open it up and give your opponent an opportunity to walk right in. 
you don't want to do that. Beads fear. So. Something I did earlier is that I upgraded my militia to oh, men at arms. Oh. Okay. What that means is that they have crit points that do oh, more damage. Fear. They look different. Oh, look at it. Oh. Um, they're stronger, but and every time all the units I had were upgraded, and all future units I make will be that way. Uh, it's it's just an upgrade. It's it's a way that you can make your 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 forces better, which is always good. Now I have a lot of food. I have a lot of wood. What should I do with that? Well. I have a bit of I have a bit of gold, so I'm gonna build. Check this out. I'm gonna Rob build you. more Rob barracks. You. Okay. Rob Why? Well, because I can. Uh, I have no feudal age buildings, so I'm gonna build some. I love Gat. If I build feudal age buildings, that'll let me advance to the you guessed it, the feudal age. So I'm gonna build a blacksmith. It'll let me upgrade my units, which is always cool. There is a building available in the feudal oh. age. Called a watchtower. If, however, Rob watchtower Wigan. does not count as a feudal age building. It won't count towards my building to advance to the next day, the castle age. I do want to do that. So what I'm going to build instead is an archer. Rob Wigan. Rob Wigan. Check this out. I'm going to press A. A is for the first guy, S is for the second. There's something here BD and there's something here BF, ASDF, right? So it's easy to press those buttons on the uh, keyboard. Press A a whole bunch of times. This is a cool AI feature, by the way. And they all will make multiple men arms. It's not that one barracks was told to make like 15, it's that they were all told to make about five, which is cool. Now, something that's important to show you now is. This guy's got Beads fear. Oh, excuse me, just one second. Okay. Now, these farms are now dead. They are out of food, okay? It's just like chopping down a tree. Now, if you, chop down, if you take all the, all the wood out, then the tree's gone. These farms are gone now, okay? They're Air exhausted. Load. So, what we're going to do instead is... Uh, fear. What we're going to do now is we're going to have these villagers... Rob Wigan. Rob Wigan. Rob Wigan. Rob Wigan. You have to spend the, the wood cost to do that, okay? You have to... You have to you have to, you know, a farm costs 60 wood, and you reseed it costs 60 more wood. Now, what you can do here at the mill is you can reseed farms in a few. So you can spend the wood resources now, and they will be spent, and they will be consumed later. These, I, these, these farms queued up will be, re, they will be reseeded when they run out, and these will go away. That's handy. So, I'm at, I have 800 food, 200 gold, I have sufficient resources. Go into the next stage. I'm going to the castle age. All right. But I want to show you this: uh, building multiple production buildings is almost get always a good idea. It's only a bad idea if you can't actually keep up with the resource production to be able to have a be doing something. But, you know, it would take me three times as long with one barracks to make this many guys. But I have three barracks, so it takes the amount of time it took. If I had five barracks, it would take even less time. But I don't have the resources to be able to do that. Nothing the wrong with that. I just my my food income is only so much. I'm also gonna make some archers because archers are nice. Archers are ranged attackers on foot. Halfway to the castle age, as you can see up here. So this is a blacksmith. Uh, blacksmith is a building that you, that you make so you can upgrade your units. Uh, these two upgrades here and here upgrade the attack damage of your units. These upgrades, these three upgrades upgrade the armor of your units. Uh, this upgrades these. This bottom row is for archers, and this top row is for cavalry and, and infantry. This upgrades cavalry and infantry. This upgrades only infantry armor. This upgrades only cavalry armor. So uh, I'm gonna upgrade my uh, infantry attack damage. Now check this out. Now I can upgrade to. I've hit the castle age. I can do some more upgrades. I'm going to do hand cart. This is just like wheelbarrow, but it's more it's more effective. Uh, my infantry, my excuse me, my villagers will again. They will move faster, and they will harvest resources faster. They will uh, carry more resources when they come back. Uh, I'm also going to upgrade to long swords. Uh, this makes it so that all my current men at arms will become long swordsmen. All the ones I'm currently making become are made not making long swords. And all future swordsmen I make will be long swordsmen. So 
I'll show you what this looks like in a second. More food? There we go. So this shows that he's making a better arms right now. Okay. It's gonna change over to launch worth. See that? Isn't that cool? If it comes out as a launch worth, we need to start him as a matter of arms. And now it says on towards me. Costs the exact same though. You don't have to pay more for the upgrade you've already done. You're not gonna it's not like no, it's not gonna charge you more. You've already paid for it, so. Let's see. I'm gonna reseed some more farms, because I'm because I'm out and I wanna make sure my farms keep being made. Uh I'm gonna research this. Bow saw. Oh wait, no I'm not! I don't have enough wood, ironically enough. Bow saw makes my lumberjacks chop wood faster. So I need some more wood. Now this is a watchtower here, okay? That's something you can do with archers and a watchtower is you can hold down alt, you can right click, and then we'll go into the watchtower. Every time you have a, a building with a flag over it like this, that means there are units inside of it. They're garrisoned. And what that means is that, you know, I mean, they, they will heal. They'll, they're protected by the building. They can't come out the, unless the building is very, very severely damaged. And they also, um, they heal in the building. Which is cool. um, archers, uh, if they're inside a defensive building, they will shoot from the building. The building normally shoots with one archer that's kind of built into the building. But now it's going to shoot with six arrows because there were five archers in it. And the building naturally shoots one arrow. Five plus one is six. I have a lot of food and I have a lot of gold. So, I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to research this of course, but what I'm going to do now cool. is I'm going to build a stable. A stable is another military yeah. production building. Uh, by the way, just so you know, the barracks lets you make the archery range and the stable. You cannot make either of these buildings without a barracks. Okay. Now, just to let you in on a little secret, we're really making a stable because of the balance of resources that I have. I'll have food, but I'll have a lot more gold. And you can, and knights. Okay. Knights are your are your essential cavalry unit. It's a big, it's a big meaty cavalry unit. Moves quickly, has a lot of hit points, does a lot of damage. Uh, but they come, to, but they're expensive. They cost the same amount of food as one of these guys. These guys cost 60 food, okay? But they cost only 20 gold. A knight costs 75 gold, it costs almost four times as much. So they're expensive in terms of gold. If you have a lot of gold, you should probably make some cavalry. So. Archers are similar. Archers, they cost a bit of gold. They cost 45 gold. They also cost wood. They don't cost any food, they just cost cool. wood and gold. Which is weird, but... So I'm at the population cap again, so I'm going to build some more houses. My bloodlines research is complete. I did some research for my cavalry to make them better. Now I'm doing, uh, now I'm making this thing. I'm making some knights, because knights are awesome. My house is finished, so production has started. I'm also making some archers. And because I can... Infantry! I also told this guy to build this house in the middle because if he didn't build that one first, he might not be able to make it because he might have walled himself off in that house. So, just something to keep in mind whenever you make building houses. I just told him to build more houses, but he's going to go run off and build those. I want him to finish the one he's building. So, we'll I'm going to research scale barding armor. Scale means that it's the most basic one, barding means that it's for uh, cavalry. So. By the way, I'm clicking my middle mouse button because I have the game macro that way. I'm clicking my middle mouse button so that I can see the last thing the game said. Hey, this important thing happened. I think it goes back up to five events. So it just finished the house. Sound. 
made a knight, so made it right here, not down here. That's okay. Anyway, so I can not yet advance to the Imperial Age. What can we do about that? Well, beat fear. Guys, half a gold. Charcoal, beat fear. That's a little dumb. You have to give him a little help. You can build a mining camp just like the one I have right here. But I'm gonna build it near some stone. Where's some stone? Oh, well, I'll build it here. I saw the stone. I just don't want to build it there, but I got you. So. Why can I break my own rules here because I'm not constantly making the bombs? Have love. Build the barracks. Fear. Need some music. Can build it. Burgery. So. Bid fear. So, making a mining camp. Oh yeah. So just like most other military units, you can upgrade archers. Yeah. These archers are going to get upgraded and they can become crossbowmen, which is handy. <laughs> Bargain it. Wait for it. Oh, I finished. <laughs> finished right when I clicked on to check to see if it finished. Alright. Wait some more knights. Crossbowmen. See, these guys inside the watchtower, they're crossbowmen too. They used to be archers, but now they're crossbowmen. Every single archer I have, or can possibly have, will not be, will not be crossbowmen. With one exception. I'm just kidding. So, oh, we're out of arms. Seat it up, queued up. Nice it. Oh. So let's tell you a little bit about combat. Let's actually here. demonstrate some combat. Unlock the gate. Going to oh. this guy's base and see what happens. Oh. Now these wolves are going to engage my guys because they're on foot, and wolves aren't afraid of people. So they're going to be like, "Hey, screw you, wolves!" Right? Bid fear. So I'm attacking wild animals. Don't call Peter, please. Tall. Tall. These are bad, bad wolves. Okay. So, looking at my opponent's base, there, there are the forge bushes. So the town center is probably about Tall. here? I don't know. Oh, this Did guy's hard. The These are actually called Chokonu, which are Chinese unique <laughs> Bid fear. Tall. Yeah, this town center. Tall. Tall. This has villagers garrisoned inside of it. Tall. 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 So these villagers from inside the town center are shooting my guys. And they're about Bargere. to kill one of them. Bargere. Kid? <coughs> See, two of them just died. Tall. Tall. So I'm gonna leave. Bid fear. Bid oh fear. no, I'm gonna die. Just Tall. Kidding. Um something Tall. cool that these Tall. humans have. That these particular units have, that swordsmen have, Tall. is that they have an attack bonus for civilians. Uh, probably have something to do with the idea that they're guys on foot with melee weapons, so they can have to go enter a building and you know. Kill the inside of them. Tall. So Bid they took fear. that down Tall. really fast. They Tall. took it down in less than ten seconds, which is really fast. Tall. Archer, an Tall. archer, a group of archers, the same size group of archers, would take a couple. Would take probably a minute. Or something. Now this is a castle. This is a you know this is an Asian and a foreign player, so his castle looks different than mine. You might notice the castle was shooting at my guys, and now it's not. Now it is again. Why is that? Well, until you do a particular upgrade, buildings with air, buildings with two arrows cannot shoot it. Cannot shoot it at the base. Okay. You can't shoot it units at the base of the building. Uh, so you do the that with the So just because I'm mean, I'm gonna take down this castle. I can take that one. Burger it. Oh, 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 blade. Have love. Hit, oh, hit, hit, oh, blade. Boom! There you go. Fear. No more castle. Oh, hit, fear. So that's. That's most of the my part is too. Um, there is more to it, of course. Uh, there are unique units. You know, my opponent made Choco Nu, which is the Chinese unique unit. It's made from the castle. Um, I'm playing as the Celts, and so I would have a different unique unit. It's actually called the Woe Raider. Um, it's an infantry that moves really fast. Uh, other than that, it's not terribly special. Um, uh, you know, 
lot of maintenance in real-time strategy games. Kia um, beat fear. So it does have that kind of sim. Raw boygie, raw boygie, raw boygie, raw boygie, raw boygie. Uh, and then you have, you know, the, the make, the, but you also make an army. You go into your opponent's base and you kill them with your army. Uh, I could probably do it right now if I wanted to. In fact, but I'll just show you because I can. I'll get it. I'll get it. So what I did just now is that I was holding down shift. And I double clicked on a unit to select all of the unit of that type. So, let me show you what I mean. So, knight, click on it. You have that one knight. Double click on it, you select all the knights on your screen. Double click on your lawn swordsman, you see all the lawn swordsmen. If you hold down shift, it lets you select more units. So I can double click on the knight, and I select all the knights. Double click on the crossbowman, select all the crossbowmen. Hold down control, press 2, and now whenever I hold down control and press 2, and now whenever I press 2, I select th this particular group of units. So I'm going to select this knight, tell him to move around, press 2 again. I have all these units selected again. It's a particular control group. I'm going to hold down control, press 1 again, because that's what, what's, what you normally do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these guys in aggressive stance, which means that they'll engage enemies when they see them, and fight them to the death and all that. Uh, I'm going to go to attack move. I'm going to press tab, tab, this little flag comes up, and I'm going to click over here, Done cut. and my units will uh, move towards that position that I clicked, and they will uh, attack anybody that they come across along the way. Now, these guys are moving kind of slow because the knights are moving, because they're all moving as slow as the slowest unit. So the knights can move faster if they want to. But these knights are part of the group, and they're moving as fast as the slowest members of their group. Sounds like it's attacking my guys. I guess how my guys are good at being good is my, my, uh, swordsman, my long swordsman. I tell them to attack the town center and take it down quickly. Now something you're going to notice is that the town center is going to get low. It's not going to get fully destroyed, but it's going to get low, and then it's going to drop out all the villagers. It's going to let them all go, and then it'll get destroyed. Uh, buildings, when they hit a critical amount of hit points, when they hit a critical low, that's when they, they, they can't hold units inside them anymore. Anyway. Why can go away and go to the floor? So, so this is my opponent saying that he's going to fulfill the So that's, you know, 2%. I'm just kidding. That's, that's some percentage, not a huge percentage. Age of Empires works. So, hope you enjoyed the show. I'm gonna pause this now. Have a nice day.